Penthouse. Yeah, it was a tough decision for us um, to have to make, but um, had a good conversation with Frank, and um, you know he was typical Frank, um, understood, but still, you know, dealing with that decision. So uh, he meant a lot to us and um, me personally, and I'm grateful for everything he did for us, and just wish he could have, you know gone on with us, but um, these are tough decisions that we have to make. And the cool part was he totally understood and uh, just says a lot about who he is as a person. So just looking at uh, this game, and you got all the guys on deck for, for tonight. What do you want to uh, see as far as performance? Because you know, it's got out, been in, been out. Pretty much. We just want to win the game. We're going to do our play our normal style of basketball and, and uh, playing against a really good team. That's that's how we're viewing it tonight. There's no um, tinkering or any of that stuff. We just don't play around that way. We're just going to try to win the game. They shoot a lot of threes, um, the best offense in the league. And, um, you know, they <clears> – <throat> They have so many veterans on the floor that can shoot the ball. Uh, the floor is space, so you have to do your best to, you know, keep them out of the paint. But when they do get to the paint, you got to make sure you get out to the three-point shooters and, and try to get these guys to shoot tough twos. And um, defensively, you know, they're really good at what they do. Um, they don't give you as many threes, so we got to try to get high-quality threes tonight when we can. Is this good a enough road test for the playoffs come from get in terms of all your threes and, and the rebounding having been an issue for you? I think it's something like really yeah. corner. And they had 14 offensive rebounds, I think, against us last time. And, you know, all the games are a test, in my opinion. I mean, I thought last game was a huge test just because we played so poorly the first half and then to come out in the second half of the third quarter and just start playing our style of basketball, that that was a um, a good sign for us, and especially the guys that don't get a chance to play to, to play that way. But um, with Utah, it's like they've just been good for a while. And so anytime you play these guys, you kind of, you know, you want to play well, you want to win, but you know there's going to be some challenges in the game that you have to overcome, and you have to emotionally stay steady. Um, the rebounding, the threes, um, the physicality, um, the screen setting with Rudy is is always an issue uh, for me as we're trying to you know get over screens and he's a big body and we got to navigate that part. So there's just a lot. So there there is some some tests within the game that you you feel like you need to at least you know sh remain solid as best you can. Um, when you pose with those kinds of challenges. I was just talking with people just about you guys since and the one thing that they marvel at is despite the injuries, despite the COVID, despite all that you guys have been able to have this kind of year. What do you attribute that to? We have good players. Um, we have guys that really work at it. They love to compete. Um, we have guys that have been through some experiences that have helped us um, through some tough times and adversity. And uh, that's what I always look at. We just have really good players. Um, and we have guys who are willing to step up and just play their role and not try to do too much. Um, and then, you know, that, that's, that's where it starts and ends for me. We just have guys who commit to our system, try their best every night and, I'm grateful has worked out for us in that way. Ron, you know, I'm just helped out. You've been amazing in the leads. We won't state numbers because we don't want to jinx anything. But mm -hmm. I think your numbers when you've had their double digit lead mm -hmm. have been just obviously feeling back. Well, mm -hmm. what do you attribute that to? 
never even looked at it. You know, I, some of these things you guys hit me with some days, I'm like, really? It's the first time I, you know, I, I don't um, look at numbers like that. But if I had to guess, it's the experience we have and um, the efficiency that we, we try to play with on both ends, uh, meaning when we get a lead or if we have a lead, our guys are intent on like maintaining or increasing it. And that's a lot, I put a lot of pressure on the bench, um, especially campaign. Um, that's his job to maintain or increase the momentum. But I really believe, I, I believe it's probably simply because we have Chris and Book, a really good backcourt that can, you know, manage a lot of situations in the game. And um, our defense has been, you know, top notch all year long. When you go back into the bubble, go with intention and it changed the franchise, right? Mm. Did you go to the bubble with that intention? Did you was that a really conscious mm. of doing and then you know Quinn revamped the whole jazz offense during the off during that mm -hmm. stoppage. Was that your intention when you went to the bubble? Well we weren't good enough to do what <laughs> they did. Um but we felt like if we could get in, we would I told the coaches we would benefit more than any other team except the one who won the title, which was the Lakers. We would benefit because of the experience. Because I felt like the time off was like a summertime uh, decompression, if you will. They gave our young guys a chance to absorb the system. So when they came back, they were a bit ahead uh, than they normally would have been if we had just played games. And so I just felt like it would it would help us. No one knew that we would do what we did there and, and whatever has happened since then. But I did feel like it was important for us to be there because um, it was, I think, 22 teams. And I, I think when they rated it, we were like 21. Washington was 22. And a lot of people thought we shouldn't even have been there. So it was huge for us. If you, we've seen you on the way out of Orlando. Would you have believed that what, the next two years success was coming? That's, did that seem reasonable at that point? I don't know. I don't. I'm, I'm 50 years old, man. I got six kids. I can't think too far ahead about anything, yeah, that's true, that's true. especially with basketball. It's just not my way. Um, I don't skip steps in that way. Um, I didn't guess or I didn't do anything. <laughs> I was like, I'm looking forward to training camp. That was all I was thinking. Um, my thoughts were we missed the playoffs by a half a game, I think. And, you know, you, I think backwards, not forwards. I'm thinking, like, what could we have done to win one more game so we wouldn't have been in that situation? Did you guys have the chance to sign J.J. all this offseason? What drew you to him, and, and what has he brought to you guys that you're saying? Um, his size, uh, rim protection, um, he's been in a, a number of good systems. And um, my conversation with him when he was on the Olympic team was just pretty cut and dry. Um, he, he'd be better to tell you than I would. I don't want to do that. But I just told him what we were about and told him his role and what it could be some nights, what it could be on different nights. And I didn't want to sell him. That's just not my, my way. I probably run off more free agents than I invite with my pitch, but I just thought he was something we didn't have, uh, the athlete, athleticism, the rim protection, and then the game against Denver when it was pretty much over. Um, in a way, he came in and was playing at full speed like it was a tie game, and that resonated with a lot of our players, uh, especially Chris. Chris. Chris mentioned that to me earlier today. What, what was it about that moment, that game, that I wasn't as focused on it as everybody else was, but um, everybody mentioned it to me later, and I, I could remember it when he came in. He he didn't play that role of garbage time or it's over. He, he came in to try to change the game, and um, it's been great for us. I mean, I even the other day when he, you know, he took a three and I had to take him out, he came up to me mid-game, and he was like, Coach, you know, I won't say what he said, but he was he was remorseful because he understood the moment. Even though he works on that, it just wasn't the time, and he understood it. And most guys will sulk and whatnot when you take him out. He came to me, 
to talk about it in a, in a respectful way. And I thought that was amazing. And that that's who he's been all year long. He's been a, I like his spirit. Um, he's funny, even though some of the things he says, I can't repeat, but it's really funny at times. <laughs> and um, he's, he's, we're not in this position if we don't have JaVale. I mean, he's had some monster games for us and we can't have the defense that we have without him being at the rim and doing what he does. So he's been huge for us. All right, thank you. Thanks.